was <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat there. Um, a lot of people, my troves of fans, were like writing me letters and everything, asking when it's gonna come back, and truth is, I never really left. So, Reefy Taco here, I'm back, and I got a little update vid for you. I wanna go over some of the changes that I've partook, and new equipment, and where I'm at with the nitrogen cycle, so on and so forth. So, first order of business, Check this thing out. This is a filter sock. It's not a coal miner's prophylactic. That's a filter sock. And look how nasty that thing is. I had that in my tank about a week. And this thing just soaked up all form of crap. Now I had some carbon underneath. Ain't that nasty. So I don't know if I'm going to use these anymore. Um, they remind me of like old vacuuming stores. I don't like these. So, you're like, whoa, hey, what'd you go to? I went to this. Did you see that segue? It just like popped in. Filter media cup. I'll show that here in a minute. It comes with a free media bag. Um, so this seemed to fit the JBJ pretty easy. And uh, we'll talk about it. Um, there's some German stuff up there. All right, so the tank. A couple things here. Check this out. So if we get down here, you can start seeing there's some brown spots in my tank. So I may be getting ready to have a di diatom bloom, diatom bloom. I don't know how you call that, um, but that's not a bad thing. That could mean that um, I'm getting close to the end of the nitrogen cycle, which would be really quick because I've only been running this about a couple weeks now. And uh, that's that. I noticed a couple brown spots on the rock, but um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's that. Now another thing. Check out these little bubbles. I don't know if you can see them. Look. Okay. So there's these little bubbles floating around up here, and that is due to this guy. This is a Tunzi Tunzi Tunes 9004 protein skimmer. I've never had one of these, never used one of these. Oh God, it's coming! Um, a lot of people that have JBJs will use these things. It is wet, so it's down in the water and it comes up to a certain line and this thing just spits out micro bubbles of uh, protein and it does not like me taking that top off, so I'm gonna leave that on. Um, I've made some adjustments to it with the air intake to create more bubbles or create less bubbles, but I still have micro bubbles in my tank and I don't know if that's a direct cause of this thing trying to break in. I bought it used, bought it 70 bucks on eBay, so we'll just see what happens. I've only been running it for a couple days. Uh, here's the media cups. So you can see that they're pretty big. I got some carbon underneath, some drippy water, and some filter floss on top. Um, Uh, there is one other thing I want to show you. Oh! Um, all right, so let's see the other side. So over here, I've got the same concept. I'm not going to pull it up because it makes a mess, but i got some filter floss in it. And underneath this is actually some C-Palm, C-Cam's <laughs> Pond Matrix. Uh, and then i got a bag in there too. And there is my other piece of equipment the JBJ auto top off. Um, this thing is, I, I don't know about it yet. Again, I bought it used, I bought it for 50 bucks. The guy sold it to me with a sensor, no pump, and that was that. So the way this thing works is this trips a sensor because the float is pushed down. And you can see that water like barely pissing over there. That is the pump sending water. And here is the pump. This is a Tom's Aqua Lifter, and it's really simple. You put one airline tubing into your ATO reservoir, and then you put the other into the tank. And I don't think my fingers are that stubby, but um, anyway. So 
that's it. That's all it does. And the reason I have it looped there is so that it won't kink. And I'm just holding it up, holding it up with a 3M clamp, and it just fits perfectly off the back there. Now I had to make an adjustment to the JBJ. Um, oh, hang on, guys. I've got a couple new additions to the tank. Um, I had to make an adjustment to the JBJ ATO. If you guys are running a very small pump, which is that aqua lifter, I think I think it can only move about I, I don't know. It's very, very crappy. So it's slow. So there is an option on your ATO to unscrew all four of these and then right where my thumb is I don't know if I can get in there and show you. No. Anyway, right where my thumb is is a screw that if you turn counterclockwise you can set this to not automatically kick off is that a bite mark look at that don't buy used guys Jesus I never even saw that um anyway if you turn that all the way to the left then that will give you 7 to 14 minutes before it kicks off now the reason that is significant is because this thing was kicking off every three minutes and that air lifter because of the water that it pisses out was never able to top off and so this thing ultimately would just stop and then my water would condensate and it would never kick back on until I saw it the next morning then I'd have to manually turn the pump on with the switch right here I just turn it off turn it on so the way I fixed that was I just let it run wide open now so now it won't cut off for 7 to 14 minutes. I don't know which one it is. I've seen 7 minutes on a YouTube video. I've seen 14 on documentation so I don't know. But there, there is the ATO Reservoir um, thanks to Walmart. Anytime you guys get some of these things make sure they're BPA free because if they're not, like I got some of these Solo cups here and I put RODI water in them and it reads bad stuff. So make sure it's BPA free. I don't know if that really makes a crap, but seems to. Because when I test this with my TDS meter, I get zero parts per million. When I test it in a solo cup, it's like 30. And I think it's causing the plastic. So anyway, back to the ATO. This thing does its job. If you're just using a small pump, go ahead and pop the back off of it, counterclockwise turn, let it run wide open until it hits that sensor and cuts off. The way it works is sensor two flags, and then the pump kicks on right here, and then it turns off once the float is popped up to the top. And man, look at this, look at that. Anyway, um, I did replace my power strip. I had one that had individual switches on it, but the cord was too short. And I couldn't find one with an extension cord on it, and I didn't want to rig something up that blew my house up or burn it down. So I just bought this Belkin here, and I'm just going to label it as I get that. And it, I mean, if I have to reach down here and jerk these things out, it's not a big deal. Um, outside of that, I don't think I have anything else to show. Um, I just want to say thank you, and especially to all the women out there sending me love letters. I'm taking girls. Love y'all.